Hello, my name is Arina Rivo. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will share with you how you can knit these scarves. They are of the same design, but different in the length and color. And they make a set with a hat that you can view in my other video, the Northern Torrid's hat. The scarves are a simple rib, but they both feature neat edges with rolled over stitches due to a special way of casting on and binding off. And the edges are very stretchy, very elastic. I used a worsted weight yarn and the yarn was twisted, so it produced a nice and bouncy rib. I worked on a 3.5 mm needle from start to finish, but if you like, you can use a smaller needle size for a cast on row and one or two rows after to avoid a flared edge. And this is the gauge for the rib after washing. For casting on, I used an Italian tubular cast on method with zero tubular rows. For both scarves, I cast on 55 stitches. To show you the exact technique from start to finish, I will knit with you this smaller version of the scarf. The only difference here is the number of cast on stitches and the number of rows. I measure the length of the yarn tail for casting on. I leave about 4 inches or 10 centimeters of the yarn tail and wrap the yarn around my needle the same number of times as the number of my cast on stitches. For this sample, I will cast on 17 stitches. So I wrap the yarn around my needle 17 times. And this is where my first cast on stitch is going to be. I place my index finger under the working yarn and my thumb under the tail of yarn. I will make my first stitch without a knot by placing my needle over the yarn and making a twist. Next stitch is a knit stitch. I place my needle under the tail of yarn, over the working yarn, and turn. The second stitch is a purl stitch under the working yarn, over the tail of yarn, and turn. Again, a knit stitch under the tail of yarn, over the working yarn, and turn. A purl stitch under the working yarn, over the tail of yarn, and turn. Again, under the tail, over the working yarn, under the working yarn, over the tail, Under the tail, over the working yarn, another knit stitch. Under the working yarn and over the tail, a purl stitch. Under the tail, over the working yarn, a knit stitch. And you can see I have now 
five pairs of stitches one two three four five and if you look a little bit closer the knit stitches look like it's an unfinished circle and the pearl stitches look like they have a small bump for the scarf i cast on 55 stitches but for the sample i will cast on 17. I chose to cast on an odd number of stitches for this scarf to make it symmetrical. Of course, if you wish, you can make it casting on an even number of stitches, but in this video, I will show how to make it casting on an odd number of stitches. I'm finishing my cast on row. And my last stitch is going to be a pearl stitch. This is it. Now I have an odd number of stitches on my needle. I turn my work counterclockwise, still holding firmly my working yarn and the yarn tail. making sure that my cast on row will not unravel. Now I'm switching my hands and I'm continuing to hold the first two stitches of the cast on row to make sure that they're secure. I take the working yarn and place it in position and I continue to hold the first two stitches with my left hand, making sure they will not unravel. Bring the stitches a little bit closer to the tip of the left needle. Now I take the right needle tip and wrap the yarn tail around my ring finger. The first stitch is a knit stitch. I'm slipping it off, inserting the right needle tip from right to left, like this. And right away, purl the following pearl stitch in a regular way. This was the most important moment. Now my cast on row is secure and I can release the yarn tail. For the first row only, all the knit stitches are worked from right to left. This is a knit stitch. I work it from right to left. Then a regular purl stitch. I purl it in a usual classical way. And then again a knit stitch from right to left. A regular purl stitch. knit stitch from right to left, regular purl stitch, knit stitch from right to left, regular purl stitch, Knit stitch from right to left, regular purl stitch, knit stitch from right to left, 
a regular purl stitch knit stitch from right to left a regular purl stitch and this is the last stitch of my cast on row and unlike other knit stitches I'm going to knit it inserting my right needle tip from left to right like this and make a knit stitch And now the first row is finished. I turn my work around and get ready to knit the second row. My edge stitch here is a purl stitch, followed by a knit stitch, purl stitch, knit stitch, and so on. And I will slip off this first purl stitch, inserting my right needle tip from right to left, like this. The following stitch is a knit stitch and I knit it from left to right as usual. And then a regular purl stitch from right to left. Again, regular knit stitch from left to right. Regular purl stitch from right to left. Regular knit stitch from left to right. And I will continue knitting the rib, alternating regular purl stitches with regular knit stitches until the last stitch of the row. The last stitch in the row is a purl stitch and I purl it in a regular way from right to left. Now the second row is finished. I turn my work around and prepare for the next row. Here the first stitch is a knit stitch, followed by a purl stitch, knit stitch, purl stitch, and so on. And I will slip this edge stitch, inserting my right needle tip from left to right or knitwise. And then purl the following purl stitch as usual from right to left and tighten to avoid baggy edge stitches. And then continue the rib as usual, working the knit stitches from left to right and the purl stitches from right to left until the end of the row. The last stitch of the row is a knit stitch and I knit it from left to right as usual. Turn the work around and here the edge stitch is a purl one and I slip it off from right to left like this and continue the rib as usual alternating knit and purl stitches in a classical way knit stitches from left to right and purl stitches from right to left. The last stitch in the row is a purl stitch and I purl it as usual, inserting my needle from 
right to left. Turn my work around. And on this side, the H stitch is a knit stitch followed by a pearl stitch. And I slip it off from left to right. And pearl the following pearl stitch and tighten to avoid baggy edge stitches. And continue the rib, alternating knit and pearl stitches in a regular classical way until the last stitch. The last stitch is a knit stitch and I knit it from left to right. Now the scarf is taking shape. Next I will show you how to make small corrections if your corners curl up a little bit. It's very easy. Just use the tip of your needle and slightly pull them down like this. This is simply a curled up tail of the yarn, so it's very easy to pull it a little bit to straighten this area. And on the other side, the same thing. You can simply insert the needle like this and pull it down a little bit. And now the corners look improved. You can also help a little bit on this side. And after washing they also straighten up very nicely. This is a close view of the cast on row with rolled over stitches. And the edge is very stretchy and bouncy. For binding off, I will be using an invisible elastic bind off method. First, we bind together the edge stitch with the next stitch, and then we bind alternating pairs of same stitches to knit stitches to purl stitches to knit stitches to purl stitches and so on. Each stitch is worked twice first time contrary to its name knit stitch purl wise and purl stitch knit wise and second time corresponding to its name knit stitch knit wise and purl stitch Otherwise. And just in case, knitwise means inserting the tapestry needle from left to right as if going to knit, and purlwise from right to left as if going to purl. When your scarf reaches a desired length, check out how it looks. On one side, the edge stitch is followed by a pearl stitch and on the other side the edge stitch is a pearl stitch followed by a knit stitch. And in this video I will show you how to bind off when the edge stitch is a pearl stitch followed by a knit stitch, like this. I leave a yarn tail of approximately four length of the row plus 10-15 centimeters or four to six inches extra. And thread it on my tapestry needle.
And now we are ready. First, I insert my tapestry needle into the edge purl stitch needlewise or from left to right and slip it off the needle. Next is a knit stitch and it's the first time so I insert my needle from right to left or purl wise and pull the yarn tail through and slip it off the needle and keep the resulting stitch upright. Now we will bind off two purl stitches. This purl stitch was already worked once, so I'm going into the stitch the second time and it's purl wise and another purl stitch it's the first time for this stitch so i insert my needle knitwise and pull the yarn tail through and keep the resulting stitch upright for a straight corner next i will bind the two knit stitches the first one knitwise and the second one purlwise. Pull my yarn tail through and make sure the loop is upright. Now two purl stitches second time into this purl stitch so it is purl wise or back to front and first time into the following purl stitch so it's left to right or knit wise and pull the yarn tail through now two knit stitches I'm freeing the first knit stitch, it's a little bit stuck. There it is. Knit wise into this knit stitch and purl wise into the following knit stitch. And pull my yarn tail through. Two purl stitches. That's the first one. Back to front and knit wise left to right into the second purl stitch. Again, two knit stitches. I'm freeing the first one, it's, it's a little bit hidden. And I go knitwise and purlwise. And slip off my needle. Again to purl stitches. Purlwise. And knit wise. Two knit stitches. That's the first one, knit wise, and the second one, purl wise. Two purl stitches, back to front the first one, and knit wise the second one. Again, two knit stitches, knit 
knit wise the first one and purl wise the second one. Two purl stitches, back to front the first one and left to right the second one. Again two knit stitches. I'm freeing again the first one knit wise and purl wise. Two purl stitches back to front the first one and left to right or knit wise the second one. Two knit stitches, again making sure I free my knit stitch, it sometimes gets a little bit stuck. Knit wise and the following knit stitch purl wise. Two purl stitches, back to front the first one and left to right or knitwise the second one. And now the last knit stitch. Knitwise and from right to left into the edge stitch and finished. And if the right corner looks a little bit low, it's very easy to correct. You can use the tapestry needle like this and just gently lift it to straighten the corner. That's it. And now our edges are finished. And all we need to do is to hide our yarn tails and the scarf is finished. I hope this video will help you to knit a beautiful scarf and I'll see you in the next one.